Joining with me is Chairman of DRDO, Dr. Satish Reddy, to speak about Mark II and AMCA projects. So, first of all, congratulations. Mark II and AMCA is uh, getting uh, ready, it's on the pipeline. So, uh, what are the features of uh, MK2, sir? See, LCA Mark II is an advanced version of uh, LCA Mark I. There are a lot of technical features and it is uh, the weight of the aircraft is much higher compared to the LCA Mark I. So it has um, larger capability to carry larger payloads, larger weapons and longer range, longer endurance time and whatnot and all that. So higher power engine and so these are all the various features which have been brought in, lots of onboard oxygen generation and um, many other electronic um, uh, radars and ESM and related features and all that have been incorporated in that. It's in an advanced stage of development and uh, it has been uh, continuously interacted with the users and all the user requirements have been captured and they have been brought in and they are very close to the reality of this LCA Mark II. Perfect. So, uh, what is the uh, tentative timeline when it will be the first flight prototype or the, it will um, be ready? It will be very soon. Uh, it should happen in a couple of years. Okay. okay. And uh, speaking about uh, AMCA, so how different is AMCA from uh, MK2? AMCA is a f uh, fifth generation uh, fighter aircraft. Uh, it is a completely different technology. So it is a twin engine uh, uh, system. Its uh, stealth features are there and uh, all the weapons are uh, inside and uh, they are all uh, so, a lot of other features even compared to the antennas, or the radio frequency features and these are all the new technologies which have been brought in. This will be about 5.5 generation fighter aircraft which very few nations uh, have uh, developed and developing and we also become one of the very few nations in the world who have such uh, aircraft. On the same context, uh, central government is uh, focusing more, more on Atma uh, project. So, do you think AMCA and uh, MK2 will have a global space and create a glo global space in global markets? Um, definitely. LCA Mark II will be one of the very good aircrafts which actually will find uh, space in the entire uh, globe. And I'm sure that there will be a lot of market for this aircraft and which we will be able to sell it all over the world. As uh, you know, getting developed now, lots of advanced features have been incorporated. And so this is one of uh, uh, very uh, modern aircrafts. Uh, moving on from the young minds to the senior scientists in uh, DRDO and including the startups, everyone are focusing on the drone technology. So somewhere uh, many experts are uh, assuming that the UAV technology in India is becoming a forefront, uh, means uh, India is becoming a forefront leader in UAV technology. So how does DRDO sees it? Uh, and what you're saying is absolutely right. This is one area where uh, UAVs and drones, the multiple sectors in the country are working in their own, uh, in together. Uh, like uh, if you say the micro UAVs, which are called drones, mostly the private sector is playing the major role and we are working with them for our requirements and getting the things developed by them and then incorporating various features, what we want there. The mini UAV, DRD was developed called Rustum 1 and many were getting developed. And then uh, when you say at the male, that is medium altitude long endurance, the UAVs like Rustum 2 are getting developed and they are in advanced stage of development in a couple of months. Rustum 2 will be able to meet the complete uh, uh, envelope what armed forces have requested and so we should be able to develop. So what you are saying is perfectly correct that the industry and the organizations have worked together and they are capturing the whole technological envelope of the uh, drones and uh, UAVs and and then the surveillance uh, systems and whatnot connected to the uh, these UAVs technologies not just in defense in the entire uh, civilian domain including agriculture so these are going to play a major role a lot of industries are going to flourish out of it I'm sure that we should be able to export these technologies in a big way Perfect. So, uh, uh, on the same note, uh, how open is DRDO for the private players? As in, uh, a, a parallel institution of yours, like ISRO, has opened up uh, to the private players. So, what about uh, DRDO? We are now having the all technologies open to the private sector. One sentence I'll say, even the missiles, the private sector has already started uh, participating in our things and they will be able to produce the missiles. Once I say that private sector is going to produce missiles also, I think the complete spectrum of technologies have been opened to the private sector. 
we are working with the private sector like a pri public sector uh, industry now all most of the features which are there for the public sector have been made available to the private sector also and they are going to join as development partners and we are going to fund them for the research and the development also they are going to do and they are going to work with us together as development production partners and many things have been incorporated and uh, it's a complete synergetic manner the industry drdo and academia will be working now my final question is what is the status update of kaveri engine oh kaveri kaveri engine has been developed but uh, when the kaveri engine is getting developed to parallelly the lca requirements have changed and lca has become a different aircraft and so kaveri whatever has been designed the thrust levels what are required and lca thrust levels there is a mismatch but the engine has been developed and the engine as a kaveri engine the, the subsets of it like dry engine and all that are being used in other applications this technology of kaveri development has yielded us to come out with many engine technologies we have developed a 4.5 kN engine now which will be used in our cruise missiles and we are able to develop 100 kg force with 300 kg force engines and all that so the country got the engine technologies and now we will be working on the amco engine technologies and wherever required we are going to have collaborations with the engine houses outside and then kaveri the amco engine once is developed then you have mastered the engine technologies thank you so much for speaking with etv bharat sir thank you so these are the words from uh, uh, dr satish reddy lot of uh, dreams lot of aspirations let's see what will come up in uh, coming next years with video journalist prashant prashob devanalli for etv bharat